basically I'm going to give you a sneak peek or a small tutorial on how to design an open solar project. Given that you already have the open solar, you want to maximize your efficiency and skill building for your roof design, having a proper PV layout and the appropriate structure and system overview. So without further ado, let's get into it. First and foremost, when you're logged in into the Open Solar account, you want to make sure to have the client's address. As soon as you have that, you can, you know, enter here into the address bar. So I'm just going to show you the project that I made after you choose the location. This is the location, the address I've selected. And after choosing that, <clears throat> it'll automatically give you the size and the location of the, the, the images. You'll have it on Google Maps or anywhere from that you can save it and you'll be directed into the information section where you'll be able to fill out the client's first name the contact details you can have a look at the address as well just to make sure uh, site details whether it's commercial or residential summary about what you know is going on any other installation permits or so once you have have that figured out and adjusted you can move on to the energy section or the electricity usage where you can enter the hourly interval in my case I have selected or extracted the hourly interval data from the Excel sheet and pasted it or entered it here in the uh, in the in the column in the box right here for the hourly usage and from there it will give you a graph on a monthly basis of how much energy the the, the residential or commercial building is utilizing per month so once you have ha have that figured out and all set up you can move on to the design section where i've already more or less designed the solar panels so now of course you can view this in 3d mode which this is the 3d layout in vertical near map but i like to, i like to prefer the 2d uh near map layout you can then you know place the solar panels in my case i've used the longy 415 watt solar panels <clears throat> Uh, yeah, so the long E415 watt solar panels, the the way that I've placed them oriented, it is a uh, facing due north because it is in the southern hemisphere of the location, so it has to be facing due north, the orientation. Now you can either have a portrait or landscape, that's up to you, but preferably I think landscape is better for a roof mounted, especially when it's flat roof. Move on to the shading, where you can have a look at how much percentage the solar panels will be receiving uh as in terms of shading and the sun so in our case i'm having 97 percent annual sun access with a annual beam shading of three percent and diffuse shading of one percent so you can see which time zones at around 7 a.m if i look at 7 a.m for january the winter you can get at 96 percent sun coverage and and the shade impact is not too many but if you see the red color the red squares that's you can see in June around 8 a.m. So you can have the shade impact of zero. So that's you know uh, some areas that might be shade obstructing the solar panels, but it's not going to be too much as you can see the impact is very little. So if I click on the plus here, the flat panels, and from there you can see as I move around the place, the solar panels also move around to adjust the correct uh, orientation and placement for the roof where it's suitable you know so you know, from that you can also choose landscape so this is the landscape position of a solar panel install and you want to have multiple rows of solar panels you can just click and drag and hold it and then you can just move it to the you know whichever position you feel comfortable with you know like having it up covering up this area so you can just hold it and move your cursor to the location where you want to you know design and place the solar panels on the roof so yeah this is the the comfort the convenient of you know installing the solar panels on the roof so once you've had the system calculations applied you know the solar panels recalculations as you can see the solar panels 220 panel system that the system size is 91.3 kilowatts so i have to make sure that it doesn't exceed to the client's uh, recommend requirements you know the max layout or the system size is 99.9 .9 kilowatts so we're still under the limit so we're good to go the annual output generation of the solar panels was 128 
1782 kilowatt hours or you can say around 129 megawatt hours and so far you can see that the inverter that the client wants to have is the sun grow 100 kilowatts but i i went with a 110 kilowatts to how uh, you know to fit in and have the equal equilibrium number of solar panels with the right amount of dc to ac ratio 0 0.83 you can see the net consumption this is the net consumption of the, the energy demand and with the solar panels that are generating and how much are they are exporting to the grid so you can see anywhere before 4 a.m it doesn't there's a large gap the net consumption is large gap so it's going to need energy from the grid during the you know before 8 a.m and then after 8 a.m or around 6 to 7 a.m that's when the solar panels are are at their peak generating it's in january and you can you know zoom in and shift the the cursor and you can have a look at you know different years different months june july april march that there you have it that's pretty much the the overview of the open solar design and i hope you understood from it and have a better idea of how to design one yourself so that's all for today